Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 1 minus x square divided by x minus x square is equal to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of x. So here uh, first we need to find uh, all the roots of uh, this equation and then at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are uh, extremist root also at the end i can explain uh, the difference between solution and extremist root so please watch this video at the end uh, and now further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method uh, here we um, you just focus into the right hand side and we have this is 1 minus x square divided by x minus x square and you see here in the right hand side we have only 1 and we write it as 1 divided by 1 okay so here we need to cross multiply the terms and when you cross multiply the terms it will be written as this is 1 times of 1 minus x square equals to 1 minus x square and here we have x minus x square multiplied by 1 becomes x minus x square. So here our target is to find the values of x. Uh, so for this we first move this minus x square into the left hand side this is the negative term when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes positive and it will becomes here 1 minus x square this negative term become positive and we get here plus x square is equals to this is our x and now here further in the next step this is the positive term and this is the negative term are gone and we will get here in the left hand side is 1 equals to x so this is the our one root of the given equation so uh, here in the first method we get here only one root uh, and now further in the next step we need to verify that uh, is this root is is uh, the solution of the given equation or is this root be the extraneous root so for verification of this root we need to copy down given question statement here it is 1 minus x square divided by x minus x square is equals to 1 so this is the our given question statement and uh, here we verify the value of x is equals to 1 so for this we need to put x is equals to 1 on both or on the left hand side of the given question statement so uh, when you put this value here it will becomes 1 minus this is x square and here our x is 1 it will becomes 1 square and here we have this is 1 minus 1 square is equals to 1 and, and now you see here we have this is 1 minus this 1 square equals to 1 divided by 1 minus this 1 square is also equals to 1 and this whole equation is equals to 1. So this implies that 1 minus 1 becomes 0 divided divided by this is 1 minus 1 is also becomes here 0 and this equation is equals to 1 okay so uh, here we need to focus uh, uh, on these terms so you see here 0 by 0 uh, form is usually called that it is the uh, indeterminate form okay it is the indeterminate form so uh, if this is the indeterminate form and uh, in other words we just say that it is undefined form or it is undefined okay 0 over 0 form is the undefined form so we generally say that 0 over 0 is not equals to 1 this is not possible if both of the sides are not equal this means that the value of x is equals to 1 is not satisfied our given question statement uh, so this means that uh, x is equals to 1 uh, be the uh, extraneous root of the given equation okay so here i can just uh, um, uh, define the difference between solution and extraneous root 
so uh, the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution of that equation and the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous roots like in this uh, in this method we have x is equals to 1 with extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement so in the first method the final conclusion is that uh, our given question has no solution okay we cannot find any value of x which satisfied our given question statement so this method it says that our given question has no solution and now here we again solve this problem for a second method uh, i hope so you like both of these methods uh, and now here in the second method we need to copy down given question statement here it is 1 minus x squared divided by x minus x squared is equals to 1 so this is the our uh, given question statement uh, and now here uh, in the second method i can just give you a smart technique or smart method in which you can easily get the value of x so here uh, in this technique we use here the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we use this nice formula to the numerator term so when you apply here this formula here first we write this one as one square we know that one square is equal to one and when we use this formula here it will be written as one minus x times of one plus x is divided by here we have x minus x square uh, so here we need to take common x in the denominator and when you take common x from here we will get here this is 1 minus x okay this x will becomes an x and this whole equation is equals to 1 and now you see here this 1 minus x is cancelled out by this 1 minus x and we will get here 1 plus x is divided by x is equals to 1 so here uh, we need to cross multiply the terms and we multiply x with this one and it will be written as one plus x is equals to x times of one equals to x so uh, here we move this x to the right hand side and it will becomes one is equals to x minus x this is the negative term and positive term are gone and we will get here one is equals to x minus x becomes zero so here uh, we generally say that uh, 1 is not equals to 0 or in other words it is not possible that 1 is equals to 0. So uh, this means that we cannot get any value of x from here. Uh, so the final conclusion about uh, uh, the given question is that our given question has no solution. So this is the, our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.